Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for another YouTube video from your old buddy, Dadcraft73. We're back here playing the Age of Engineering, and man, oh man, I love my little ore processing, automation, plate making, rubber extracting system over there. Man, that makes me so happy. I love just being able to dump a bunch of ore into that chest on the left and then in just a few seconds I get like two stacks out on the other side let me show you something I did though real quick I put myself an ejector upgrade in here that way if I put things like coal or whatever like say I want to put let me get some coal out of my system here coal yeah so I got tons of it so let me just grab two stacks and if I throw that in here like so it it brings it in here into the macerator using the pulling upgrade and then ejects it back into a valid inventory. So if I need lots of coal dust, I can have that and it doesn't have to go down this way, right? That makes makes me happy for sure. That way I can just macerate anything that I want to that doesn't need to get smelted and it works like a dream. I've been grinding out some ores. I have some odds and ends here. I've also been making some dense plates. I've been making some different kinds of plates. Uh, what is this? This is, oh, that's nothing yet. We're not worried about that. Got lots of gold cable, a little bit of rubber. All right, so I'm in good shape for what we're going to work on today. The other thing that I did is built myself a little underground bunker. <laughs> Let me take you down here and show. I used um, limestone. I had some left uh, laying around in various chests and in my storage. So I used about every single block that I had. Actually, I had to go mine a little bit more. And I made some of these bricks, limestone bricks. And then I made some marble on the floor, and I even made some factory blocks with these right-facing arrows or, and then in some cases, left-facing arrows, right? So kind of lead you into the room, into the center. I made the ceiling out of hardened stone bricks, just using up some of the random blocks. I mean, we're not talking about super cool building uh, here, but you know just a little something so it's not just a hole in the ground. I think it looks pretty good. Spent a little bit of time on that. Not a whole lot, but eh, it was all right. I got to do a little building <laughs> and we're about to do some more building today so today we're gonna see if we can't get ourselves a nuclear reactor I'm scared I will admit it I'm not too uh, uh, what is that too proud to say that I'm a little scared hey are these guys done uh, yeah they are done that's right here you go back there I'm gonna leave that right there look at that I've got four stacks as an alternative to wait for lightning no I'm not, <laughs> not using that crazy empower oh man that thing kills me all right let's put these in our chest oh in our not our chest but our storage we'll just dump those in there we should also get our hat back on just in case anything bad happens um, I wanted to show you uh, my plum farm hasn't been able to keep up with my fuel demands I mean I have a full tank and I'm getting a little bit of biomass in here but we're not we don't have any backlog of fruit juice which makes me a little a little nervous because we're gonna be using some serious uh, EU here in the next uh, for a while I think so what I did just as a temporary you see I've got a line going up here I've got a cloche happening over there making some carrots right making carrots and they just come along here and they go in there whenever they're made and we're not ahead at all because we're gonna need to fill up that tank full of biomass and that tank full of uh, fruit juice as soon as we get that then I think we're gonna be okay I might let it run for a little bit and get I don't know uh, 50 60 stacks of carrots in there something like that and then I'll shut that down and we'll go back to plums yeah 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 everything else is the same here I am I am noticing I'm getting a little bit of like weirdness like a little bit of frame rate lag or something right there I'm not Ooh, I don't know what happens something's going on I don't know if it's because of all the processing that's happening there in that corner right now I have a feeling that's probably what it is but I can feel it when I look over there if I look over here I'm fine if I look over there I get a little hitch so we'll see what happens once it kind of settles in I mean everything's working essentially over there so you know it's kind of crazy all right so we got to make some nuclear reactor stuff and oh my goodness so we need to make the reactor and then we need to make some reactor chambers we need to make six of these basic machine okay those are pretty easy 
lead plates. Okay, I don't really, let me get some lead out of here. Let's go here and do lead, nope. I haven't quite figured out the whole searching thing. Uh, lead block. Okay, so let's make some lead block and we'll do like that and we'll make, I don't know. Here, let's make like however many blocks that is. Now I don't even have to worry about it. I just go, oh yeah, I need some lead plates. There you go. Go in there and do your thing. Slice everything up. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it makes me happy. Okay, so reactor stuff. So let's take a look here. Reactor. So we need to make this, the nuclear reactor itself. We need some dense lead plates. We need a generator. We need some reactor chambers. And then we need an advanced circuit and we need a dense lead plate. Okay, so let's take first of all some of these lead plates that come out of here. We're going to need how many of these guys are we going to need? One, two, three, four. And these just take regular lead plates. Okay, so we just need four of those. Generator, yeah, we can do all that stuff, I think. Okay. Okay. So let's make some, let's make some dense lead plates. I need 36 of these. One, two, three, four, like that. All right, these guys can go in here into the compressor. They'll do their deal. We'll get some dense lead plates. That shouldn't be a problem. What do we need here? Uh, we need an iron furnace. I wonder if I can just make some of this stuff. Let's see, can I make, if I go here and here and here, can I make one of these? I can, no. Uh, what do I don't have? I don't have a furnace, okay. Well, then I guess maybe we should make a furnace, right? Okay, uh, there, we'll make one of those. And then you can go back in, and then we should be able to make this guy. All right, and then you can go back in. I keep wanting to put it up there like that, but I'm getting used to it, I'm for sure. All right, I gotta make one of these. Do I have the stuff? I do. Uh, no, I don't have an insulated tin cable. Oh, I don't even know if I have any tin. Uh, let's see. No, I don't have any of those things. But not a problem because we can handle that. So if I go and let me get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tin ingots. Take them over here to our fancy little uh, metal former. Make sure he's on extruding. He is. And we can throw those in there. They'll go out. They'll do their deal. And we should get tin cable back. Okay. So let's grab some of those, and I don't know, we might have the rubber, let's see. Okay, so nuclear reactor, go here, 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 can I make this? No, I don't have any rubber, but I'm gonna get some, not a problem. There we go, let's grab that, and we'll just dump all of this stuff into our system. There we go, now we can make insulated tin. Okay, just one, I think, is all I need for now. All right, and now we can make this. Yep, there's a battery. Okay, he can go back in. And then we should be able to make this. One generator, okay? You can go in. All right, now uh, we got that, okay? We need to make some of these guys here. So basic machine deal. How, can we make, uh, let me get some iron plates and put them out. Keep keep uh, going a little crazy there let's get a couple stacks of iron plates we'll stick those in here and then we should be able to crank this stuff out okay so we need to make these guys basic machine casing let's make uh, so we need six we need nine of those let's make eight plus one all right there's those nuclear reactor okay let's make these uh, let me grab some lead plates which should be here yeah uh, we get like that's probably enough for now okay and then we can make so I need six I need nine of these guys too so let's do eight plus one okay there's those and we need to make an advanced circuit let's make one of these can we make it yes okay there's that oh no not like that okay and then, can we make the advanced one? Uh, we're missing stuff. That's okay. We have all of that stuff already pre-made. You know I'm taking care of business around here. Trying to get some stuff done ahead of time. 
I wish I knew what that little bit of lag was. My phone is starting to blow up. I don't know what's going on around here. Dang phone. All the time making noise. All right, back here in our empower, we have these guys. So let us make, let's convert all of these and all of these. Okay, and then we can dump these, 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 these in there. Oh, be quiet, phone. Oh, yeah, dang phone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so back to nuclear reactor. We have to make this advanced circuit. We should be able to make one of those now. Easy. Yep, so that's done. And now we should be able to make the reactor. No, I didn't get my dense plates. All right, let's go grab those. Let's turn our glider on so we can fly over there. And we'll get these dense plates out of this chest right here where they're waiting for us patiently. All right, so let's go here. Uh, here, here, here. Nuclear reactor. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, and then we should have these reactor chambers. Let's just grab those real quick reactor chamber so we have six of those okay so I think that's what we need yeah 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 all right I'm sort of kicking around the idea of making two of these guys right off the top oh man why am I why am I bumping my head I wasn't before oh glider glider's on that's why <laughs> I'm trying to fly down each step so let's go down here do I have like a regular kind of block yeah we we'll use this hardened stone guy Let's just get him right there. Let's put these guys away. And put these guys away. And this. And this. Yeah? Okay. All right. So this room is where our nuclear reactor is going to live. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put it here. Okay? So we got to put down our nuclear reactor like that. And then we got to go on each face. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Yes. Yes, mate. <laughs> there is the thing. Nuclear reactor in EU mode, output throttle by 50%. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I think I sort of want to have two of these reactors. The design I'm going to go with, man, it's supposed to be stable. It's not supposed to blow up and kill everybody around here, including myself. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see. I mean, I, I guess, I don't know. But so there's one reactor. And then if we go over here, so what are we, like three blocks from the edge? One, two, three. Yeah. So I can come over here. And I can go one, two, three, and put another reactor right there. So, I mean, if we're going to build it, we might as well build two, right? I mean, technically, we could probably build three. Like, I could put one right there, too. Do we want to do that? Do we just... I mean, if we're going to build it, we might as well just go, like, crazy, right? Right? Oh, oh man, I think, I think this is a horrible idea, for sure. But I think we should go ahead and do it, right? right oh man let's do it okay so i'm gonna go off camera and i'm gonna build this setup two more times you know if we're gonna go nuclear <laughs> oh, i have to make so many pieces parts for these things though it's not even funny it's probably a dumb dumb thing but i think if i can figure out exactly what i need to do i can just duplicate it you know one of you guys have told me or a couple of you guys have told me hey if you're gonna do something if you're gonna be like a crazy guy and you're gonna have to make all these things it's not too much more trouble to make five as it is to make one or in our case maybe 50 60 hopefully i have enough raw materials we'll see okay so let me go get these other nuclear reactors done and then I'm going to get a piece of paper and a pencil and start writing down all the individual components that I need. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to start crafting them. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. So I've got the materials list, or at least I know how many that I need to make for the first two things. So the first thing we need to make are some of these containment reactor plating. We need 21 of these guys. So we need to make some of these guys first of all. So let's see. Lead and advanced alloy. Okay, I made a ton of advanced alloy. Uh, compressor. Yeah. So I made a ton of advanced alloy. So we should have plenty of that. We had uh, a couple already. 
but it is what it is. Okay, so we need to make 21 of these guys. So let's make these. Can we make 21? Let's do 8, 8, 4, 1. Okay, so there's 21 reactor plating. And then we need to make 21 of these guys. So let's go 8, 8, 4, 1. Okay, so there's 21 of our containment reactor plates. <laughs> okay, next up, we need to make 33 reactor heat exchangers. Let me just make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 33 of these guys right here. Okay, so these are a little more complex, but not too bad. So we need to make 33 circuits. Let's see how many of these. Can we make uh, 8, 8? I have these. I don't have near enough, do I? Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see if we can make some more of these guys. Okay. Let's make four. All right. So that's all I can make. I can make 19 of these because, oh, I think I might be in trouble here. Let's see. Nope. I have rubber. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Let's get these. All right. Let's make another stack of insulated copper wire. Okay, now, um, I'm going to say 33 of these guys right here. Okay, so we got to do these. All right, so we can make eight more, and then four. Okay, we're short. Oh, we need more. Oh my goodness, it's so... <laughs> so expensive. I'm really worried about my rubber situation. I think I'm in trouble because this is all the rubber I have to my name. And I don't really have enough to get more. So if I make four more, 33. 33 circuits. Okay, you guys can go in there. Okay, and then it's just copper plates and tin plates. So I need to make 33. One, two... I don't have any more tin plates in my thing, but that's okay because I have some here. Let's put these guys in there. All right, now. So there's 12. There's, oh, how many is that? 28, 29. Okay, and then four more. Okay, so that should be 33 of these guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, and I also need to make one of these other heat exchangers. Well, I'm not, actually, I'm not even done making those. Those are just heat exchangers. i got to make one of these guys, too. So I need to make another heat exchanger. Okay, let's make one more circuit. Copper. Yeah, I have. I should have all the things. What's it telling me I'm missing? Okay. Uh, iron plate I have. Can I make it now? Yeah, just one. I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't want to craft out of the thing. Okay, so I made that. And then we're going to make another heat exchanger. Okay, heat exchanger one. Okay, and then I need to make one of these. Oh, do I not have any gold plates? Do I have some in here? Uh, I have dense ones. Okay, let's grab some gold. All right, we'll make. Uh, we might need to have some gold plates laying around anyway, so we might as well just make some. We'll throw those into this chest here. All right, and this can go in here. Okay, so let's just wait a second until I get some of these. There they go. Okay. Now, I should be able to make this. Just one. Okay, so one of those. And now these have to be turned into the other kind of, the reactor heat exchangers, these. Okay, so let's see how many of these I can make. Eight, 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 one. Okay, so there's these. Okay, so we made three of the parts. Now, the big craft that we have left, let me look here at reactor, is these guys right here. Reactor heat vents. So heat vents 
are an electric motor so thankfully it doesn't require another another circuit because we're in a little bit of trouble there but so we got to make these okay and I need one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh my goodness. What is 28 times? Okay. Um, we get, okay. So 28 times 3. I need 84 of these guys right here. So we got to make a ton of these. This gives me one. Oh my goodness. How am I ever going to make all these? Oh, sweet mercy. Okay. So I made a bunch of tin casings in preparation, but I don't think I've made near enough. So I have these here. I have these. Let me get a bunch more copper. Let's get this. And then let me see. Copper. Let's get like... Oh, and I have 28 of those. Let's take those out. Let's do this. All right, let's put our metal former back to extruding, and we're going to make a ton more of these copper things. Okay? Let's see how many of these we can actually make. So, first of all, I need electric motors. That means I need 84 electric motors. Okay? Uh, we don't have any of those coils. Yeah, so we got to make coils. That means I need 168 coils oh what have i what have i what rabbit hole have i well i mean it's not it's my it's a rabbit hole of my own doing okay let's see how many of these are gonna make eight 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 and that's it okay so i have 19 of those so i need to get a bunch more copper wire so let me get working on that i mean i might even need more than i'm making so that's 19 i need 168 coils so i can then make 168 electric motors okay so I'm gonna have to get some more tin as well okay so let me get working on some of this stuff let me get the materials together I want to make sure that we are able to actually get all of these components in the nuclear reactor and we haven't even got to the point where we have to make our the what are they called the not the two what is this thing called the rods right so we need to make one two three four five six seven of these quad fuel rods per reactor so we need to make 21 of these so i haven't even got to the point where we're going to make this stuff yet so fuel rod um we have to make like an empty rod like this which is no where's the empty one this guy so that's a plate in the metal former with extruding turned on it gives us fuel rods okay and then we're going to have to get ourselves some uranium, which is not going to be fun. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let that this thing run and get tons of these copper cables. I think I made way too many gold, but that's okay. Not a huge deal. Let me go over here and check something really quick before we jump off camera. Uh, copper. That's iron. I'm worried about not having enough copper. There's some copper there. Iron, iron. Any copper over here in this section? I don't see any. Okay, well, hopefully we have enough copper. If not, I'm going to have to hit the mine. So we'll go ahead and get this processed up for sure. Let that happen. All right, he's happy. Yeah, making more copper. Okay, so let me let these all done. I'll bring you back. We'll see if we can't craft all these other, these uh, these guys. And I need plates for all of those too. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna be close. I mean, I have tons of copper plates, so we might be okay. So let me do what I need to do. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. I have all these copper coils, 180 couple? I think 188 I want to say that might be a little bit more than we need but we have to make 84 <laughs> of these things so let's make a stack all right and we need to make 20 more all right so if we do eight eight four all right there's 84 electric motors okay now we have to make some of these so let's make uh, like two stacks, maybe three stacks of those. Okay. 
and then let's see if we can make these. So we need 84 of these. So we should be able to make a stack. Oh, what am I out of? Something. Uh, I'm out of all the stuff. Okay, let me see. A fence. Okay, yeah. Iron. So I need some more iron plates. Do I have any in here? No. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so iron block. Let's make a couple more iron blocks. Let's make. Uh, da, da, da. That's good. These guys can go in here. I need to take um, two of these out of here. I stole them to put them somewhere else. Okay. So that should be pretty quick. How much power is that guy using? 26 EU per tick? Let's take one more out of this extractor and we'll throw it in here. Let's see how much is it pulling now. Yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. So I need to be able to make however many this is. 20, 36 more of these crazy things? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> so a stack will, I guess, let me make 16. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this. Let's see. All right, uh, we need to make a reactor. So we need to make this and this, right? Okay, let's make some iron bars again. Okay, put those in there, those in there. Okay, now, we should be able to make 16 more of these. Eight, eight. Yep, now we're out of plates. So we're close, though. We need to make 20 more. All right, how many plates do we have in here now? I bet that's going to be enough. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, eight, eight, four. Okay. So there's my 84 of those. But these are not the right ones, right? We have to crank these guys up. Okay, now, I need all of my copper plates. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be enough. I guess we'll see. All right, so now we need to make these guys. Okay? A stack. Okay, there's a stack. And then I can make, oh, maybe eight. Eight. Four. Okay, so there are all these guys. Okay. So that's actually a really good start. I'm going to put all these things. I can't believe I actually had enough materials. I'm going to put all of these in here. So these are the bulk of the crafting that we have to do. So let's put the rest of these guys in here. Let's get these all out. We might as well just pull all these guys out of here like so. Is that done? Yeah. And we can just dump all these guys in here too. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So now I need to figure out how to make fuel rods. So I need to make some empty ones. And how many did I say? Ah, I don't remember. I want to say 21 of these. These guys right here. These quads. Okay, so to make those, I need some copper and iron plates. Not a problem. I think I have enough to do that. To make these guys, I have to make these fuel rods here. So that means if I need to make 21 of these, of these... Um, these yeah so 21 of these I need to make so that's 484 right 84 of these okay so I need 84 iron plates okay um, iron plates let's get a stack and then we'll get 20 more Seems like everything is sort of in multiples of 20. Okay, so this has to be on extrude, yes. And then if I dump these and these in here, these should be making myself these little guys, right? Okay, fuel rods. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, okay, here's where it gets really sketchy. Okay, so we have to fill these fuel rods. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how to fill them. I think it's the thermal, the centrifuge is what I need. So I need this. Can I look at recipes if I do like that? Okay. So depleted, no. 
No, it's not that. It's the it's the this. It's the bottler, right? It's this guy. Solid fluid solid canning machine. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy. Okay. All right. Now if I do use, will it not let me do? Why can't I do? Okay. I don't really know how to make these. Okay. So I'm going to have to look that up. So let me go figure that out. Let me go look that up and see what we need to do. Whatever we end up doing, I'm going to build like duplicates of some of these machines and just sort of set up its own like uranium products. I know I'm going to have to use uranium. I mean, obviously, we're going to make uranium fuel rods. So I've got those going. Yeah, everybody's good. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to put in a system to be able to make these because down the road, I think we're going to need more. Oh my goodness gracious, what a nightmare. Let me show you this down here, though. Let me just, sh uh, did I show you? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, I have my three nuclear reactors sitting down here. We just need to get all the pieces, parts together to fill them up. So let's just go down here and I'll show you. So they're all just sitting in here ready. One, two, three. I have all the basic parts. I just need to get the fuel rods now. I, I think I have plenty of uranium. Let's go take a look. I know I need a macerator. I think I'm going to need my ore washing machine. I'm going to have to get that guy out somewhere. Let me see, uranium. Yeah, I have like two stacks here. Um, what's that? That's emerald. I don't care. And I have like more. All right, so I have almost, well, I have three plus seven. So that should be enough to do what I need to, I hope. Uh, I got to get my rubber suit on to make sure I don't die. Yeah. So I, I need to set up a processing plant. So I need to do some research to see if I can figure out exactly how to make the fuel rods. And if we could just get all the pieces parts in today's episode, I guess we'll have to come back tomorrow and see if we can get these nuclear reactors fired up. So let's see what we can do. I'll be back with you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Now, I haven't been back on camera for a little bit because I've been working out some stuff, or trying to at least. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I don't want to touch any of the stuff. So, anytime that you process uranium, death comes for you very quickly. So, here's what I've got going on, and see if we can step through this. So, first of all, I've got a macerator. It's got an ejector and a pulling upgrade. Now, if I take and go in here, and let's find a single chest, and I go over here, um, let's go like so, and then we'll go like this, and then we put this here, okay? So this thing has a pulling upgrade and an ejector upgrade. So it'll pull whatever I make in there. Now that means we have to be a little careful on the amount of uranium we process at, at any one time. Um, I could put a whole stack in here and it would be fine, but if I put uh, a stack in here, it's going to macerate and get uh, a stack or two stacks and it's going to put half of it back over there. So that's not good. But that being said, it might be okay. I don't know uh, because it's going to be kind of slow, the overall process. But still, I don't want it to eject a macerated or uranium back over here. So if we're going to use the chest, we got to do like 32 at a time unless we can figure out some other means to do that so we don't just unload tons and tons. I mean, I could put a hopper there. That's probably a better solution. Just put a hopper. That way I could put a bunch of uranium and it would just feed it in there. And then I could take out the pulling upgrade. But anyway, that's what I've got. So macerator, couple overclockers, got ejector and pulling, and some transformers. Because we're using tier 3 power right here, right? This is a HV transformer. So it's putting out 512 EU coming this way. Okay, all right. So here I've got ore washing plant. It's got a pulling in an ejector. I've also got a little piece of item conduit going to a trash can and a filter in this thing that says, "Hey, send me your little tiny pieces of uh, lead dust, lead, and your stone." And we'll just get rid of that. We don't need it. That's for sure. And then over here we've got our thermal centrifuge with the lever on the front of it. By the way, you guys told me why that thing wasn't pulling out. I had that leather. Le leather? No. I had the lever that on the item transfer node down there, or it was affecting it, right? So giving it a redstone signal so it wouldn't transfer items out. But anyway, got this on here so she stays nice and heated up all the time. Now this has the ejector upgrade in it as well, and it ejects up in here to a mechanical crafter where I've got the recipe for this thing, right? I've already made two of them because I ran two pieces of uranium through this thing. 
And now I've got another fluid solid canning machine. I need to put some overclock upgrades in here, but I will at some point. Um, I've got it sort of set for, for to drain from cell into tank just now because... Yeah, <laughs> I don't want it to go crazy. Up here I've got fuel rods, got my 84 fuel rods, and here I've got an empty chest. This has ejector and pulling. So it should pull from here and here and eject here. And it might also eject back and forth, but I'm not too worried about it. Now the question is, which one of these do we put it on? Okay. Oh, that one right there. Okay, canning. Okay, so let's see if this thing works. So it should make myself a fuel rod. Okay, and it went somewhere. Yes, yes, went right there. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's get this thing tested up here and see if we can actually make it work the way that we expect it to. I've got some more IC2 coolant. I gotta make some overclock upgrades. I'll do that between the episodes. No, it's in here. So let's grab myself some uranium. Uh, we'll get like. Uh, Let's grab half a stack and we'll put half of it back. Okay? So if I put this stuff... Oh, man, I can't even eat. Or I can't even move. I can eat. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Get back here, guys. All right. So if I put this in here, right, this guy's going to macerate it. And he's going to put it over here in the ore washing plant. Right? So let's just keep an eye on this thing and see what it does. Okay. So it did what it needed to. And it should have put... Yes. Purified crushed uranium in there. This thing is going to do its deal. Okay. And now I've got another fuel cell coming. <laughs> yeah, I love that. All right, there we go. And now, yeah, we got three fuel rods so far. So this now, I can just let it go. I need to get 84 total fuel rods because remember, fuel rod. We need these guys. Okay. So we need some copper plates. We need some iron plates. And we need... Uh, four of these so we need 84 total fuel rods so I can make 21 of these to fuel all of our nuclear reactors oh my goodness let me see I just want to make sure it's not like kicking stuff back no it looks like it's going okay it's not kicking it, everything's going where it needs to be I don't know if that's going to be always the case but that's how we're going to do it for sure all right, so this guy is still doing its deal. This is doing its deal. This is doing its deal. I need to make some more overclocker upgrades. I will do that. Not a problem. Oh, man, it's working like a dream. So, essentially, this little system here outputs fuel rods, and I never have to touch them. Now, as soon as I do want to touch them, uh, I don't want to get them out of there. Because if I take them out of here, I'll die. Uh, or I'll get radiation poisoning. If I even like click on them and get them in my inventory or get them in my hand, it's going to be trouble. Turn that off. Okay, so there we go. Now, in this chest here, right, we have all the pieces parts. We have 84 of these. We've got three of these. We've got 33 of these and 21 of these containment reactor platings. That's all the stuff we need, theoretically, to get these nuclear reactors up and running. So you're going to have to come back tomorrow for tomorrow's episode, and we're going to have all the fuel rods made by then. And I'm actually going to be making, I think I'm going to make like 42 fuel rods just so I have an extra set. I don't know what happens if the fuel gets depleted. I think it shuts down, but I'm not 100% sure. And then tomorrow we're going to come back, we're going to load these guys all up in the special configuration that they need to be loaded up in, and then we should be able to produce EU at about 500-ish uh, EU per tick times three. That's 1,500 EU per tick getting produced here. And then we've got to build some stuff. We've got to build a recycler. Recycler, which is, should be pretty simple. Yeah, 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 super simple. We need to build that. And then there's this thing, UU Matter. We have to build one of these. I don't really know how to make it. So we got to figure that out. we got to build a cobble generator so we can produce tons of cobblestone to run into our recyclers. Oh, man. We are, we are on the way. What is the thing that makes UU matter? I don't know. I'll have to look and find out. So there we go. We got three nuclear reactors. We've got all the pieces parts either made or in process. And then tomorrow, in tomorrow's episode, we're going to come back and we're going to fire this thing up. And hopefully, hopefully, we do not create a radioactive wasteland. <laughs> That's my plan. How's this guy doing? Look at that. 21 of those bad boys in there. 
Yeah, boy, this is a genius thing. Because you have to craft this stuff. I'm not crafting. I'm not touching it. I don't want to have anything to do with this crazy stuff. So there we go. Man, I'm happy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time. That looks like uranium in my hand, but it's broccoli. <laughs> Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from the Age of Engineering, where we haven't gone nuclear yet, but we are right on the edge. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.